Scientists at Lincoln University are coordinating research to look at the establishment of a biodiesel feedstock industry, with less productive land used to grow non-GM crops for fuel. A variety of high-energy biofuel crops in New Zealand have shown distinct promise. Professor Steve Ratton, who's leading the project, explains. This research has three key components, really. One is we're looking for plants that no one's ever used before. Some are actually New Zealand native plants, which is a world first, of course. We're adding particular bacteria and fungi to the roots of these plants, which evidence suggests will make them yield higher than before, which is also new. And thirdly, we're trying to work out how much can we lessen the damage that these plants do to the environment, meaning can we minimise insecticides, fungicides, weed killers and even water and fertilisers as we grow these plants. And that, that combination of three approaches is a world first, actually. There are some native New Zealand woody plants in there. There are some seed crops from around the world. And there are even some unusual plants that don't produce oil, but they produce other chemicals that have potential as a new type of biodiesel. So we're spreading our aim quite widely. A biofuel is simply something, usually plant-based, but it could be animal-based, like animal fat, that contains carbon, which we burn in some way. In particular, it's recent carbon. The plants we burn have taken the carbon dioxide from the air in the past few decades. When we burn oil or gas or coal, on the other hand, the animals and plants that made that were around millions of years ago, and we're mining fossil energy, which is where all the trouble starts with putting carbon dioxide into the air. We're really pleased to work with Naitaho because, like many Maori groups, they own lots of land, which is great. However, it's often multiply owned, and decision-making is sometimes difficult. Even more important, it's often not the top quality land. And getting the right crop on land of that type is a big challenge. As we're talking about not food crops for this work, but unusual crops that don't need top quality land, it seems an ideal partnership. When we get our first crops from our experimental plants, they might be half a kilogram of seed. So you don't take it to an enormous factory, like by these or in Sir Christchurch. You put it in a machine like this, which really deals very cleverly with small quantities of seed. It doesn't waste anything, because it'll be high value. In this particular case, we have some linseed in here, which is, of course, a food crop, producing what we call nutraceuticals, um, lovely tablets full of omega-3 fats, which people eat to be healthy. You'd never use this stuff in your diesel ute. However, it's a nice example of how we actually do it and how we can get large quantities and small quantities of seed. It's heated very high temperature and compressed at the same time and pushed through a sort of a sieve here and the oil comes out, large quantities in the case of linseed, it's 40% fat and drops into a beaker. And then at this end comes the so-called waste, which is the seed coat and the other parts. What you see behind us is the Rolleston plant in terms of the seed capture and the seed processing. We dry and store up to 10,000 tonne of seed. It's also a construction site for the next phase of development, which is a seed press and extraction. Ultimately, we'll have a, another biofuel plant in addition to our existing biodiesel manufacture. This is seed from a farm in Kurao, and this is prior to it going into the screen and through the drying process. What you're seeing here is a um, straight off the paddock. Um, we've got a 500 kg bale here, and within the 500 k, you're probably talking over 200 kilograms of oil, and, a, and uh, close to 300 kilograms of animal um, feed potential in the cake. The advantages of biodiesel is that it significantly contributes to the agricultural community in terms of growing a great crop option that's anchored to a market which will only increase in size and value transport market. There is significant benefits in the environmental side of biodiesel. It's lower emissions, particularly in particulates and, and the carbon output. Compared with mineral diesel, there's a huge benefit in terms of the amount of carbon dioxide it releases into the environment. And it's got some great environmental benefits in terms of it's biodegradable and non-contaminant. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.